Uh, good afternoon uh, once again to all. Now actually I am uh, going about uh, uh, 5G and its cyber security issues. In that actually just I am covering the contents like the introduction, comparison of 5G with all the 4G, 3G, 2G, 1G networks, uh, features of 5G, application areas of 5G, issues related to 5G environment, cyber security issues with 5G and uh, final conclusion. I have minimized all the technical jargons. Uh, 1G stands for first generation and 2G stands for second generation. There are the two generations of mobile phones initially. 1G is the first generation of mobile phones which brought first wireless communication to the United States. Since 1G was introduced in early 80s, a new wireless mobile telecommunication technology has been released roughly every 10 years. All of them refer to the technology used by the mobile carrier and device itself. Uh, they have different speeds and features which improve previous generations. The present generation is 5G which was launched in 2020. Normally everybody thinks that uh, 5G is for mobile communication but it is beyond mobile communication. Lot of process industry, transportation industry, almost all industries are actually vying for this 5G technology because of its advanced features. Uh, just a uh, brief about uh, 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G and 5G. 1G actually with frequency 150 megahertz to 900 megahertz range, bandwidth, analog telecommunications, characteristic is first wireless communication, uh, a technology used is analog cellular, it is having a data rate capacity 2 kbps, it was introduced during 80s to 90s, it has got bad voice quality, poor battery, strength, cell phones, big cell phones, actually the size of cell phones were big, it is better than nothing, at least it's wireless and mobile facility. It uses circuit switching, Wi signal is analog signal type, data services are not provided in this, channelization protocol is FDME. It is advanced one 2G, so it has got a higher frequency range, 1.8 gigahertz, with the digital telecommunication, bandwidth is 900 megahertz, characteristic is digital, technology is actually GSM and digital cellular, capacity data rate is increased to 64 kbps, it was introduced during 91 to 2000, it allows actually advanced text messaging services, it offers actually signal must be strong or else weak digital signal, this is one major problem. In this actually, uh, with the GPRS, emails, web browsing, camera phones, etc. introduced. 2G circuit switching as well as packet switching is introduced here, or used here. Internet is provided. Data services are provided except for complex data, for example videos. The channelization protocol in 2G is TDMA and CDMA. The drawback of 2G is the lack of network ranges and slow data rate. And everybody uh, thinks that uh, 2G to 3G transfer, but between 2G and 3G there, uh, there was a 2.5G network system and 2.75G also. Here there, it is less known, 2.5G and 2.75G. They are called as Ethereum standards. 2.5G introduced a new packet switching technique which was more efficient than 2G. This leads to 2.75G which provided a theoretical three-fold speed increase at the time. So the first company is uh, Aston Tate and Aston and Tate, which was the first GSM network uh, company uh, generated to support 2.75G with uh, edge in the US. 2.5G and 2.75G were not uh, that much uh, uh, formally defined as wireless standards. They are uh, mostly served as marketing tools to promote new cell phone features. Coming to 3G, frequency in the range of 1.6 to 2 gigahertz, bandwidth 100 megahertz. Its characteristic features are digital broadband facility, increases speed. It uses CDMA, UMTS, and Edge. The capacity, the I mean, data rate is increased to 144 kbps to 2 mbps. It was introduced during 2000 to 2010. And uh, the mobiles which are used uh, 3G were called as smartphones. It offers video calls, fast communication, mobile TV, 3G phone, 
is expensive compared to the 2G and all. Presently we are in the <coughs> bridging time between 4G and 5G. Before going to 5G actually we will just explore few features of 4G. The frequency range is 2 to 8 gigahertz, bandwidth 100 megahertz, uh, high speed, all IP actually and the technology used is LTE Wi-Fi. Capacity data rate is actually in the range of 100 Mbps to 1 Gbps. From 2010 to 2023, now still magic, mobile media, multimedia, anytime, anywhere, global mobile support is there, integrated wireless solutions is available, customized personal, personal service also provided. Good QoS plus high security is introduced, but uh, my uh, interest is talking about part of the discussion. 4G uh, supported uh, mobiles has got web access like 3G. Does also same gaming devices like services, HD mobile TV service, video conferencing facility, 3D TV, and other uh, high speed. Uh, uh, demanded uh, services were possible under 4G. But the maximum speed of 4G network when the device is moving is 100 Mbps. The speed is reaching 1 Gbps for low mobility communication such as when the caller is stationary or walking, walking. So, this picture depicts how actually we have transferred from 1G to 2G, 2G to 3G and 3G to 4G. Now we are into 5G actually uh, my discussion, it promises significantly faster data rates, higher connection density and offering much lower latency, energy savings is a foremost uh, a good thing which is offered by 5G, the anticipated theoretical speed of 5G connections is up to 20 Gbps per second, it is theoretically we have not yet reached this and 5G based internet allows uh, users a relatively simple way to connect to high speed network without complex setups. This is one great advantage, simplicity advantage of 5G compared to other uh, uh, wireless network uh, facilities. But this simplicity is leads to the very complex problem of security issues of 5G and 5G system. So, considering India, just a small uh, brief of uh, uh, news about uh, 5G services in India. Recently, Prime Minister Narendra Modi in uh, October 1, 2022 launched 5G services in India. Before that, in 2018, one of India's largest telecom provider, Idea and uh, Vodafone merged, and now it is called Y. Vodafone was already prepared for 5G. Designed a set of feature ready technologies in 2017 by upgrading their entire network to support it. Even earlier, Bharatitel Airtel announced early 2021 that their network is 5G ready. Compared to Reliance, actually, they wanted to introduce first 5G, but uh, Airtel introduced uh, 5G. As of early 2023, the company claims to cover all key urban areas. Reliance Geo completed 5G coverage plans for the top 1000 cities and plans for nationwide rollout by December 23. DSNL is not also uh, behind uh, this race. They signed memorandum of understanding with Siena, a networking systems company in the world, in early 2019 to prepare its network for 5G. But with lot of uh, deliberations, actually still lot of things has to be done by DSNL with uh, computations from Airtel and uh, Vodafone and uh, Reliance. So benefits of 5G. The core benefits of 5G comes down to very very important thing as lower latency rate and increased bandwidth and very big higher capacity of data flow by 5G. The most beneficial impact of 5G which comes down to a very very important point of connectivity, it's stronger and more reliable network connectivity, 
Normally, people have the ability to simultaneously experience digital content and communicate with uh, the disruptions experienced with 4G. Uh, to name few lagging, buffering, etc. So that was actually completely eliminated uh, uh, to the maximum extent by 5G. Minimal lag when streaming videos and playing games. Earlier we used to 3G and 4G initially. We used to have that some uh, round. Uh, this one that. Uh, line is uh, evolving and taking time uh, minutes and seconds time to stream the video continuously and safer cities with smart interconnected vehicles that is one good which is offered by 5G near instant access to most files online this is a great feature of uh, uh, 5G uh, smaller devices which offload uh, hardware requirements to remote servers this is one of the advantages for all the type of process industries, even commerce uh, industry and online uh, service providers. New products and applications which require ultra fast speeds. So there is many apps, even uh, internet uh, depend on internet dependent uh, so many portals which requires uh, high speed uh, and ultra speed uh, product uh, uh, features. And next is reliable internet in remote areas. This is very very great uh, feature which uh, uh, 5G is supporting because uh, where whichever country the country has got uh, was, uh, only so 30 to 40 percent of uh, 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 populated areas and city areas and remaining areas are all uh, uh, maybe uh, inside the jungle or uh, inside forests or with remote areas or hilly areas or even at uh, remote villages like it is not possible to provide uh, health related uh, facilities and other communication facilities whatever so this 5G will become a boon uh, to such uh, uh, consequences and the areas where uh, 5G can provide the communication facilities uh, compared to other uh, communication systems and finally what we want to say in uh, inside the benefits of 5G is 5G is so fast that uh, it is not just available for mobile devices it has the potential to completely replace uh, our high-speed wired connection via fixed uh, uh, wireless uh, access. So that means, who knows, in the days to come, this 5G will uh, almost remove uh, wired connections. And specifications. 5G specifications are very important to understand the importance of 5G as well as its... Uh, Uh, 5G cell which is what transmits and receives mobile data uh, normally it supports speeds of at least 20 Gbps for download and 10 Gbps for, for uploads and uh, here the latency what you can expect is as well as 4 milliseconds or more but in most uh, situations uh, in, in real world the speed is 100 Mbps uh, and 50 Mbps so but could easily fluctuate up or down depending on the variety of circumstances because we have a lot of circumstances uh, changes the operational speed and uh, latency value of 5G. For example, in an ideal situation, if we consider 5G speeds as fast as 1 GB per second, we can download a 3 GB movie uh, to our mobile phone in within 24 seconds and upload 1 GB video uh, to the YouTube in just 8 seconds. But uh, practically, it is uh, not that much uh, uh, situation exists. That depends on the mobile device, what we are using, the, uh, what we are uh, using, the communication channels, what type of de devices and facilities we are having, what type of systems we are having, what type of service provider we are having. It all depends uh, for the uh, 5G speeds and data rate. Second is device support. As I already said, so the 5G uh, environment depends on the device supports. At a minimum, 5G must support 1 million devices for every square kilometer. That means within that amount of space, the network is capable of connecting uh, almost 1 million or more devices to the internet at the same time. Okay, this 5G is connecting 1 million devices, but whether that internet is supporting the uh, related uh, uh, channels is supporting that type of huge uh, uh, millions of devices. So that is one question uh, normally arises. but. 
uh, 5G does not need to support a mere one or two devices per person. That is actually not meant for uh, 5G devices or 5G system. 5G system is widely used only to support a uh, more number of devices with high speed, with low latency. So with that actually smart locks in nearby houses, wearables, even all the vehicles, everything in the city has to be connected with the 5G. So it will become a huge network. Many times actually it, it will not be sustained by the existing internet facilities with the internet service providers. Because one very important thing, drawback, what we can say with the 5G is 5G is too big. But the devices and other connection systems, network systems, etc., are not matching with 5G because they are still with the 5, uh, 3G and 4G environment. Everything has to be updated. Hardware and software both to be updated. So it costs a huge amount, billions of dollars. So that is one big thing why actually uh, still it is not uh, uh, completely covered the whole world. It is very uh, particular in some. Uh, 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 countries only. It is also predicted that globally there will be 1.4 billion connections on 5G networks by the end of 2023. Already we are uh, in uh, May. Another 5-6 months are there. So uh, 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 the size of uh, connections for the 5G networks is I think even beyond 1.4 billion. So the market adoption actually what I want to show you here is uh, it is actually very huge. In uh, 2019, it is 13 million, but now actually it is uh, uh, going beyond that in 2021 itself, 700 million, and in uh, 2022, uh, actually it is with uh, 96 countries and uh, 37 5G standalone deployments are also there, and 243 live 5G networks are available. The total subscribers is 1.2 billion subscribers, so it is actually becoming a monstrous. Uh, a development of the 5G market adoption. That means huge market is there. A lot of money is flowing for research and development. Uh, a lot of expectations we can have in the days to come uh, about 5G and its environment. So now actually let us go about the 5G trends where it is going like. So it is very simpler. It offers very simpler, lower cost operating environment for automation everywhere. So this is a huge boon to Video rich experience customers want, automatically they are ready to pay. A lot of uh, such uh, portals and uh, uh, companies are momenting money with uh, this type of uh, offerings. And 5G core on the way, but commercial deployments will be gradual. See, this is actually very important. Even though the technology is great, the op offers are great, but uh, commercially viable things is very, very important. Initially, it will be offered with very huge cost for the customers. Later, once it is deployed to uh, the whole world or to the uh, commercially yeah, becomes viable, then automatically the rates will be gradually decreased and the customers will become more and more adapted to the 5G environment and they will get a lot of benefit. And two clouds, two different purposes. So this is one the new trend which is coming uh, nowadays by the companies. Uh, that means with some exceptions, service providers are actually offering cloud strategies or deviating uh, uh, gravitating towards telco cloud for network functions and for public cloud for IT workloads and edge computing. So the making two uh, different cloud environment automatically 5G uh, uh, environment will be even more boosted with uh, uh, handling various systems, various uh, 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 environments, network environments. And finally end of the day it offers high speed data downloading and uploading facilities and it will uh, uh, enter into a uh, lot of uh, other areas of uh, uh, processing industry and uh, other uh, uh, industries like and automation sustainability this is also one great uh, uh, trend setting by 5g because uh, in automation industry uh, it is uh, widely uh, now it is applicable even the uh, companies are thinking about to uh, modernize their whole company environment especially it environment and systems uh, to make it more uh, uh, 5G uh, interested areas. So automatically if 5G environment if they create, uh, this will boost their production and this will uh, increase the quality uh, and the sustainability of the whole uh, process industry. So that means it is one great area where uh, uh, we can see the 5G trend. 
and uh, non terrestrial uh, uh, networks see once 5g and beyond 5g is introduced automatically lot of space explorations satellite communications and other uh, um, prominent areas will also get lot of benefit with the help of 5g so all the satellite related uh, uh, markets all the satellite related research developments all the satellite uh, and uh, other uh, satellite communication related uh, uh, companies and organizations will definitely get benefit out of uh, uh, 5g in 2023 we expect uh, north american 5g span to shift to micro areas of outdoor and indoor uh, densification uh, 5g core edge and fwa this is also one trend uh, china will home in on uh, 5g business services in industries like uh, manufacturing energy and transportation also and uh, expect uh, india will definitely roll out a uh, lot of uh, 5g stand alone uh, uh, the surging is already started non stand alone is bypassed entirely with networks which are deployed in more than 200 cities so definitely it is a very very positive shift of uh, 4g to 5g in india and 5g now uh, i have given some a brief idea about uh, 5g and its features and uh, trends and where actually 5g is uh, taken us uh, in the industrial area so 5g cyber security issues are also a uh, very very important to address this because in the world whatever technology we are having the technology uh, just not satisfied uh, to have completely error free lot of security issues are there lot of uh, attacks are going on uh, presently because end of the day now 5g is supporting iot devices iot devices are more susceptible in terms of its sensors in terms of its communication in terms of its processing in terms of its actuators so many system failures uh, we can notice and if 5g is also introduced with iot and other uh, uh, technologies especially even cloud security issues are also there because now cloud cloud is also introduced with 5g see so many technologies are merged with 5g so automatically the strength of all these technologies is depends on its security strength so we cannot expect uh, all uh, because each technology area will have its own uh, susceptibilities its own drawbacks and limitations if all these uh, technologies are merged along with the 5g so a new additional unknown uh, security issues may crop up and that will uh, damage the users and uh, the manufacturers even the companies who are involving in this uh, uh, they will have, uh, incur huge losses data loss may be there see that we have to look into in the uh, another side of the coin whatever 5g is giving all the offers all the best things but it comes with automatically the negative things also to safeguard distributed 5g infrastructure this is a very critical and crucial uh, a uh, thing uh, with respect to cyber security issue and to get cloud native security built for a 5g world because each uh, cloud environment is given by so many companies so many organizations each have got its own uh, uh, level of uh, uh, security and each comes with uh, its own tax so uh, to uh, communicate with the different type of uh, uh, cloud environment offered by different manufacturers there exist a, a native security build up between all these things is very much important because if any one cloud uh, network is suffering a, a security attack or cyber security attack it will all continuously pass on to the uh, all the other uh, systems and environments uh, where actually it is getting connected so we have to look into the cloud native security uh, issues and to create new 5g services which are quickly and securely we have to develop and to simplify security for all 5g network facets to clear 5g cloud blind spots because as i already told you uh, various uh, clouds are used for uh, data accessing and data storing so the uh, communication between these cloud networks is very very important somewhere at some point there exists a blind spot between this cloud environment so this will hamper the security of 5g so everyone has to concentrate on this cloud blind spots and to provide service orchestration needs security that means whatever service the customer or client or whoever is requesting from the 5g environment so it uh, it should be handled in such a way that the trust should be there the uh, 
the need of the security is actually is in a far most important because the customers clients and other companies has to trust this 5g environment so to trust that actually we should provide high level of security for these things and to secure new revenue streams with 5g security because this is one serious problem every company every organization wants more uh, uh, income at the same time the customers and clients they want the maximum uh, uh, facility and features with low cost so there is a balance between these two and at the same time uh, uh, investing huge on the infrastructure investing huge on hardware and software facilities everywhere who and all will be the user who and all comes to the fold of 5g environment and network they have to restructure their uh, hardware and software environment the processing uh, uh, methods has to be altered to facilitate 5g environment so it becomes a huge uh, investment how they will recover it so this is actually they have to look into the 5g security environment also uh, uh, has to be concentrated on these things if not automatically maybe companies maybe clients are uh, going to the negative uh, side of the kind and they will try to hoodwink the 5g environment and system so automatically security issues cyber crimes will uh, starts already it is there some use cases of 5g with other technologies so unmanned aerial vehicles automated valet parking intelligence emergency response systems all these are all widely actually applicable with the 5g environment and definitely these are all flourish with the uh, 5g uh, compared to the 4g and 3g environment security features of 5g security features of 5g is actually some uh, very few i will explain uh, as the time is uh, not permitting much for me uh, zero trust since the third generation of telecommunications it was implemented mutual authentication between user devices and base stations have been implemented ig continues with this trend of distrust because in previous cellular generations what happened is within the internal cellular network when mobile network received data from another network carrier it would accept it as fact but 5g has implemented the security edge protection proxy which is also called as scpp a gatekeeper that prevents any traffic which is not authorized and verified from entering the network carrier network this is one beautiful uh, uh, facility which is uh, improved version uh, from the third and fourth generation is the security good security feature of uh, 5g as zero trust and next is data transmission security uh, with the first generation anyone tuned into the frequency which uh, cellular device is operated and could listen to the conversation then it was actually uh, controlled in the second generation because they added encryption between the user device and base station but network uh, rest of the network is actually not uh, supported so signaling protocols are what is leveraged to manage uh, telephone calls group text messages etc it uh, allows adversaries to intercept and listen to the phone calls so with 5g the standard has finally reached to a point where uh, actually all signaling traffic is encrypted now and integrity is highly protected and the user traffic is encrypted with optional integrity protection that means actually data transmission security is completely advanced in 5g compared to other generation of uh, 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 network uh, systems but still it has got lot of uh, uh, failures uh, failure features uh, but time is not permitting to explain all these things the third one is privacy in uh, 4g or lte the device is continuously beacon out uh, an identifier uh, with the cellular network users to identify and authorize the user uh, that is also called as international mobile subscriber uh, identity imsi but in 5g it addresses the weakness of the plain text imsi uh, by taking the 5g equivalent also called as uh, uh, supi uh, subscription permanent identifier and encrypting it with that uh, devices home carriers uh, public key so the encrypted supi is uh, uh, also called as a uh, subscription concealed identifier this suci is then leveraged to initiate the attachment procedure so uh, that means it offers a very advanced level of privacy so that the data may not lost and data may not be uh, hacked by the external entities so now actually we have to concentrate very seriously on 5g security risks and concerns as 5g becomes more uh, ubiquitous across the globe uh, the normally security community is taking the opportunity uh, to review and understand potential security risks what and all is there see all the risks are divided into two categories one is inherited flaws 
and uh, second one is out of specification issues so briefly i will explain this inherited flaws uh, actually bloomberg uh, reports uh, it will cost hundreds of billions of dollars to upgrade from 4g to 5g because it is basic uh, flaws are there uh, to upgrade to 5g this is a massive cost for any company as i already told you this one and uh, then legacy protocols legacy protocols which possess most vulnerabilities are the aforementioned signaling protocols because it comes with its own design to issues design problems you cannot change it so that is actually we can summarize vulnerabilities as ss7 and uh, then diameter and the gtp all these things are uh, very very important uh, considerations for designing or shifting from 4g to 5g and 5g devices uh, developments these are all very important next another is downgrade attacks because of the see normally technology is developing so fast day to day uh, we are actually keeping change of uh, whatever developments is going on but at the same time we have to look into how actually we have to improve hardware and software has to be upgraded but it is highly impossible daily to upgrade the hardware facilities so automatically it will offer the downgrade of uh, the devices and systems which are connected to 5g environment so automatically downgraded devices are is prone to attacks cyber attacks so once it is get attacked so almost all transport layer security issues will come into picture and uh, very serious vulnerable uh, uh, conditions will be reached so always we have to look into the downgrade attacks very seriously and uh, second one is out of specification issues so very explicitly uh, 5g standard in the releases Promptly, all the companies and network operators uh, figure out all these uh, mismatching things and developing uh, uh, hardware and software to match all these uh, uh, multiple environment, multiple uh, uh, networking features. So definitely, this type of privacy concerns and vulnerabilities, especially to the web applications and cloud applications, will be reduced. And uh, again, uh, uh, same thing I am uh, explained here: cloud computing vulnerabilities. I have already told you about this and web application issues. These two are very, very uh, serious concern for uh, standard, uh, good uh, network communication with the help of 5G. Uh, same thing, actually, I am explaining how actually this adaptation of uh, uh, various standards, because different standards are there for different networking configurations, and all has to be uh, coordinated and merged to one uh, standard, uh, so that uh, uh, 5G uh, uh, hardware and software can uh, efficiently function uh, with. Uh, a good uh, latency and a high speed uh, uh, environments and complications managing user privacy these are all very very serious issues of uh, cyber security because to ensure confidentiality and integrity of over the air communications 5g leverages of uh, especially new radio encryption algorithms new radio integrity algorithms respectively and uh, both algorithms support a highly secure advanced encryption standard by aes but in both cases actually what Uh, we have figured is uh, these algorithms also support weaker algorithms like the uh, snow pg uh, so and can be disabled entirely so no protections are in place this is a very very loophole uh, what actually for uh, user privacy issues is concerned under 5g environment so it has to be addressed seriously and the uh, fate of 5g technology end of the day what uh, i can uh, tell you is uh, the emergence of the fifth generation of cellular technology definitely it is revolutionized the world and uh, facilitated unprecedented use of uh, internet connected devices accepted but uh, the security of the protocol is not only a concern of 3 gpt and the research this uh, they have to drive the standard also law makers has to develop policies uh, standard policies uh, pertaining to 5g especially and uh, on say related cyber security issues uh, it is end of the day it is uh, uh, lies in the hand of uh, uh, and responsibility of uh, the uh, deploying technologies entities government uh, and uh, the manufacturers and the standards it police standards like they have to develop they have to come out with a uh, uh, lot of such standards and uh, facilities and features in the uh, 5g environment end of the day uh, because as i already told you i So the application is becoming very very prominent which uh, uh, regularly uses 5G environment 24 by 7 and it uh, well, actually it requires fast speed and low latency uh, 5G is offering 
or the security devices are not developed in such an extent to get that maximum facility of fast speed and low latency and iot devices are also having lot of uh, uh, issues related to cyber security it has to be overcome and uh, uh, i hope uh, i have covered uh, briefly about uh, 5g uh, and uh, cyber security issues uh, futures and trends of 5g uh, especially in terms of uh, uh, cyber security and uh, uh, thank you very much